Tonight, hundreds of people came out together in Arlington to pay tribute to a teenager killed in a crash. Police say 17-year-old Braylon Mead was hit by a suspected drunk driver Friday night, Friday early Friday morning. And since then, tributes have been pouring in for the high school senior. News 4's Mauricio Casilla shows us how loved ones want him to be remembered. Braylon Mead was a beloved member of Washington Liberty High School, part of both the football and basketball teams, and someone who also excelled as a student. Hundreds of people coming to pay their respects here at a candlelight vigil. Go 22. Braylon Mead's coach and teammates embracing one another. He was number 22 on the court, a special player and a special person. He's pushed me to do better in academics, being a better brother better son. You know, every aspect of my life I've gotten better at because of Braylon. As friends and family huddled together, candles in hand, they celebrated the 17-year-old's life. Tears were shed, but also... We couldn't play that game anymore, but he, he kept asking. Laughs were shared. Members of this community picking each other up, united by tragedy. The people here are so very gracious to one another in times of celebration and in times of grief. The sudden loss of Braylon is something his friends are still stunned by. We were with Braylon uh, just a few days ago and hang out with him laughing and joking as we always did. And within a few hours, it was all gone. But his presence lives on. I'm just gonna miss him so much. Um, but I know he's watching, so I will continue to do my best. People hugging each other a little bit tighter at the vigil, knowing life is a fragile thing. I want to say cherish your loved ones, you know. You never know when they're going to go and, and, and you never expect it, so keep everyone you hold dear to you close and, and make sure you, they know you love them. Washington Liberty says come Monday, it'll make grief counselors available for students who might need that extra support after going through such difficult times. Reporting in Arlington, Mauricio Casillas, News 4.